Welcome to 2023's Top 10 Comic Book Covers. Fans, this is week 33, the Group 4 Elimination Round. This is sponsored by Mutant Beaver Comics. I'm Mike Spider Slayer. Welcome back to Comic Book Corner 2.0. If you love daily comic book content and you love me helping you make decisions on what comic books to buy, guys, consider hitting that subscribe button. Also, by the time we get to the end of this video, you're going to find out how you can win yourself some of these awesome Mutant Beaver exclusives. All right, guys, so a few rules before we get started with this week's elimination round, in case you haven't done it before. We have comic books at one cover of the week all the way from weeks number 25 through 32. I'm going to display those winners, and you're going to vote one time on your favorite comic book cover. The winner will get nominated for comic book cover of the year for a later date, and the runner-up will go into the wild card round as I will do a wild card a video later on towards the end of the year so that cover still has a chance to get nominated for comic book cover of the year so remember only one vote per person put your comment in the comment section below and uh and that's pretty much it and You'll find out by the time I go through all the covers how you can win those Mutant Beaver exclusives. Representing week 25, we have Batgirls issue 19, cover C incentive 1 in 25, the Robbie Rodriguez cardstock variant. This is a cool and different cover uh, for the particular week as we get to see Spoiler and Batgirl flying around and stuff like that with their crazy neon colors with the yellow in the background. I thought this is a cool and different cover. This was the week that I had to pick because of the last group elimination round. So if you guys find this worthy of being nominated for comic book cover of the year, make sure you vote in the comments section below. Representing week 26, we have Amazing Spider-Man issue 28, the Carrie Andrews variant. This is a great looking cover as this has like 90 vibes all over it. As you get to see Spider-Man holding Mary Jane here, flying through or swinging through the cityscape and Mary Jane in his arms. You gotta love the corner box up top as it has old school Marvel and Spider-Man hanging upside down. And then you got the, the direct edition artwork down below which has Mary Jane. It looks absolutely sweet. So if you wanna see this get nominated for comic book cover of the year, you guys got to make sure you vote. Representing week 27, we have Night Terrors, First Blood, Issue 1, Cover C, done by Francisco Mantina, Cardstock variant, an absolutely gorgeous and horrific comic book cover with Zantana actually getting possessed by some kind of weird creature which we all know is I guess maybe insomnia at this particular point in time she's handcuffed you gotta love those bright purple colors as well again very scary cover representing week 28 this was number 10 on my list and this pulled off a huge upset that particular week this is red goblin issue 6 main cover bjorn berendis great looking cover as which is a pretty much realistic looking version of you would say the red goblin here as he's on top of something which may be one of the green goblin cronies or whatnot you get to see his mouth like light up all kinds of like yellow and it's just very demon like and it's raining and stuff great looking cover representing week 29 we have night terrors punchline cover b done by ben oliver great looking cover as we get to see punchline as she is trying to control her uncontrollable laugh she has a singular tear going down her eye you get to see those eyes glistening as she is in complete pain you can just see that she's tortured a great looking cover here more night terrors we have Representing week 30, we have Night Terrors, Angel Breaker, Issue 1, Cover B, done by Ivan, Ivan Towel. This is the cardstock variant. 
Angel Breaker is not in a lot of stuff, but this cover is great as you get to see her breaking through all kinds of crazy skeletons and it's raining and she's just got no pupils in her eyes. I mean, it's just intense and it makes you petrified of this particular character. Too bad what was inside did not capture the same essence, right? Or same way as this cover did, but great looking cover here. Representing week 31, we have Fire and Ice, issue one, cover C, done by Franzetta. This is the movie poster art. Great looking cover, as we get to see a nice trade dress up top that says Fire and Ice. We get to see the barbarian-like character at the top of the cliff. We get to see the female, and then we get to see the little sidekick there as well. And you get to see like these troll looking characters climbing up trying to attack them. Very much like the movie poster here. Great looking artwork. And before we hit our number 32 representative, I just gotta give a quick shout out to Mutant Beaver Comics. Guys, Mutant Beaver Comics is a global leader in exclusive variants with over 3,000 listings in their store. They ship worldwide on a daily basis and offer top-notch customer service. If you do use my promo code CORNER10, not only can you save 10% off of your first purchase, but every purchase after that. So don't miss out on those exclusives, everyone. Check out MutantBeaverComics.com. All right, so the representative for week 32 goes to Spider-Man Annual, issue one, the Gabriel Diotto variant. This cover is so stunning. I mean, oh my gosh, we get to see Wolverine on top of a beat up Spider-Man. I mean, he got his ass kicked and you got to look at Wolverine there just staring him down in the eye so intense if this cover is on the stands it makes you want to pick it up however the story itself didn't deliver like this cover does but it's still a great cover to collect great stuff if you want to see this get nominated for comic book cover of the year make sure you vote so there are your representatives for group number four guys make sure you vote in the comment section below every vote counts now if you want to win these Mutant Beaver exclusives, which I'm gonna show you right now, you're gonna make sure you have to comment in the comment section below by voting. That will enter you to win these beautiful exclusives and I will draw out of the comment generator and I will announce the winner in the results show next week and bring you a new group to kick off group number five. So what can you win? Well, you can win the Amazing Spider-Man issue 75, the Kicks variant. Also, you can win Batman Adventures Continues. This is issue one. Nice looking variant right there. Again, all sponsored and donated by Mutant Beaver Comics. Then you can win the Shannon Mayer Legends of the Dark Knight, issue one, one of my favorite covers. I think it was last year with Harley playing pinball. That is a gorgeous cover. And then this is probably one of the best ones, I think. Uh, you can win this Harley Quinn, the animated series, Eight, Eat, Bang, Kill Tour. This is the Ivan Towel variant. This is limited uh, out of a thousand. This is 933. It comes with a COA attached to it. So this is a really nice cover to have uh, in your comic book collection. Again, you just got to make sure you vote in the comments section below. And there you guys have it. So I'm so anxious to hear what you think about group four and which one is your favorite. And as always, guys, if you love my content, I'll leave you more content right here. In fact, this is the return of Worthy Ones. It's the video series where I talk about the newest number ones that came out for the week and I deem them worthy or not worthy. And of course, guys, as always, keep buying, keep collecting, but more importantly, always read those comics. I'll see you real soon.